Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. It's our first visit of the 2019 preseason with head football coach Mike Babcock. And coach, a little more than a week has gone with preseason practice. Give me your general impression so far. Um, this has probably been the best energy that we've had, uh, you know, since I've been here. You know, a lot of guys are excited about the season. Um, you know, on both sides of the ball, guys are going hard. Uh, it's hot, real hot out there, uh, but guys are pushing through it. Guys are physical. Uh, so, uh, so far, I've been uh, pleasantly surprised. 40-plus uh, returning lettermen, almost 90 back from last year's squad. Talk about the leadership you've seen from the veterans so far going through their first paces of practice. You know, it's you know you can't put it on one person. You know, the, that's what's great about this team is there's a you know a handful of guys, about a dozen guys that are really kind of you know taking steps to bring the guy next to them along with them. You know, like I've seen a, a one of my offensive linemen, you know, really just grab a freshman, um, you know, that's switching from D line to O line and says, "Hey, don't worry, coach, we'll take care of him." You know, and that's. You know, that's with me not even saying anything, you know. So that's great leadership. They want, you know, the guy next to them to be, you know, just as good as they are because they know in the end that will help the team. And that's why I think this, this team is, you know, turning into something special. I like where we're going right now. Hopefully we can continue it. You talked about the freshmen, a lot of new players in camp, not only freshmen, but a couple of transfers sprinkled in. Talk about what you've seen out of them so far. You know, it's, it's always interesting with those new guys because um, – you know, a lot of them, it's just, you know, it's, you know, playbook, it's full-time gig, it's going against guys that are sometimes three, four, sometimes five years older than they are. So, uh, but there are a handful of guys that are probably ahead of the curve than, than the majority of them. And, you know, on, on both sides of the ball, um, you know, there's some guys that are continuing to improve. And, you know, my gut feeling is some of those will probably turn into, you know, uh, true freshmen. Uh, this year as we progress through camp. As we said, a little more than week into preseason camp. Do you feel like this group has progressed to the, to the point you expected them? Are they a little bit behind, a little bit ahead? Give me your impressions. Um, I, I think they're about where I expected to be. You know, I, I'm happy for the effort. You know, I think that you know, we're running around better than we've ever you know, done before. Uh, I always think we can continue to work on the details. You know, that's a big thing this year is, you know, that's Really what separates a good team from a great team is just those little things. And, and can you concentrate on that? And, you know, I talked to the guys even today about, you know, the complacency is the enemy of winning. You know, can you, you know, we're a week and a half into camp. Um, it's hot. Guys can, you know, there's not as much install anymore. So we're going over the same plays over. Guys can get complacent. And, you know, can we come out and have a great practice every day and continue to get better, continue to improve one new thing? So today, you know, I thought we actually had a, a good practice this morning, uh, you know, from the previous practice. So the guys are guys are pushing each other. It's it's fun to see. Before we talk about the scrimmage coming up on Saturday, a little bit of a different wrinkle this year in, in preseason camp and the fact that you're not going into your first week of school next week with it being a game week. You'll have one more extra week for guys to get in a routine, and that's got to be big. Um, it, it's it's different, you know. I mean, it's it's one of those things where um, you know it's uh, it's a distraction, um, but at the end of the day, everyone's got to be a student athlete anyway. So they might as well. Maybe this year they get used to being a, a student uh, even before you hit your first game. So you know, we lose the extra meeting time, the extra walkthroughs. You know, that's the one thing that's hard. You know, that, that you lose during camp. Um, you know, but you know the older guys have been through it. You know, they you know some of the guys got. And it, Players probably like it because it's less hit, less hitting or less, you know, meeting time, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, I, th I think we're fine. Um, you know, I'm excited, you know, to get to our first scrimmage this Saturday and, and see where we're at, you know, as an offense, defense, and even special teams. McKendry fans will have their first unofficial look at the Bearcats Saturday evening, a youth uh, clinic ahead of a scrimmage right around 6, 6.30. Talk about the events that evening. Well, I mean, it's, it's a great day at, at McKendry. I mean, you're talking about a, a women's soccer game that's going to be starting at about 4 o'clock. Um, you know, so you're bringing back the GLBC champs, you know, in, in year one. So it's great, uh, you know, to watch them. And then at 6 o'clock, you know, all kindergarten through eighth grade, um, you know, anyone's invited, free clinic. Um, you know, we'll teach them all about the catching and throwing and running routes and, and even, you know, touchdown celebration dance. You know, all those important things that football's about, um, you know, but a good 20, 30 minutes with all of our guys around. And then our guys will go in, they'll strap it up, and, and we'll get going for, with a, a good, probably right around about a two-hour scrimmage from roughly about 6.30 to 8.30 on Saturday night. Should be a nice night looking at the forecast. 
uh, hopefully we can get some uh, good ball uh, as well. And that's under the lights at Lehman Field. Coach, one week at camp in the books as we get one week closer to the 2019 regular season. Thanks for taking time to join us. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget you can follow everything on, related to McHenry football online at mckbearcats.com and our social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we'll see you soon.